One way in which dementia is a challenge for patients, carers and people working in primary care is that everyone's experience is different. I would talk with you now and t 20 minutes time, even 10 minutes time, I couldn't tell you basically what uh, we were talking about. Well, it took me a while to persuade her to go in to see the doctor and it wasn't until she'd had to stop working and everything. When I knew there was something really major, majorly wrong, I'd say, can you get me a drink of water with some ice? And she'd bring in a glass of water with frozen chips in. I knew that there was something not right with Mum um, quite a while before we took her to the, uh, we took action to the memory clinic. Um, really, because my father-in-law also had uh, Alzheimer's and we recognised the symptoms, really. And then one day he went out in the car. He was gone for about three hours. He came back, but he had no idea where he'd been. I saw something else I liked, but it was quite a way. So she was busy getting the makeup. Well, maybe, I don't remember, maybe I'd got mine or I was waiting to the lady to say what colours, etc. And then I couldn't find my way back. And it was extremely frightening. Uh, and it wasn't until one of the receptionists who knew Hillary saw her before she came in, when she got confused, so go in the door and she went into the toilet. No, no, and she'd been to the same, in the place, going to this place for years. And, so, and then went in and, and was obviously confused, went in, bluffed the doctor, came out and was confused again and had forgotten my name. And she went in and told the doctor, there is something wrong. She was getting then more aware that she was forgetting things and I was noticing she was starting to put clothes on inside out quite a lot, forgetting where things were. So we went to the GP and she sent us straight to the memory clinic, which was, you know, where Joyce was diagnosed early 2008. Professor Anthony Bayer, director of the memory team at Cardiff and Vale UHB, is an expert on dementia. So it's probably an idea for us to start by you telling me what is dementia? Uh, dementia is uh, essentially chronic brain failure. It's uh, usually progressive, uh, usually irreversible. Uh, obviously it involves cognitive impairment, usually memory problems, but also judgment, language, spatial problems. And they're of such a severity that they interfere with day-to-day -day functioning. And that's, of course, what distinguishes it from the everyday forgetfulness that uh, we all get as we get older. Is it inevitable, then, that as we get older, we develop dementia? Uh, no, dementia isn't uh, inevitable. Uh, most people with dementia... Uh, tend to be old because it becomes increasingly common as we age but uh, conversely most older people even those over 90 do not have dementia. Within a GP practice what should be aware of uh, what should we be aware of in terms of the the numbers or the the prevalence of dementia within the population of the practice? There are about uh, 2,000 GPs in Wales, about 40,000, 50,000 people with dementia. So each GP is going to have about 20 to 25 people uh, with dementia that they're responsible for. As things currently stand, what percentage of those 25 people are actually being supported because they have a diagnosis of dementia? Well, unfortunately, the statistics suggest that perhaps less than half of people, the expected numbers of people with dementia are actually diagnosed. In, in Wales, uh, it's in fact um, far worse than in Northern Ireland or Scotland, roughly comparable to England. And what's the impact of that? The people who do not have a diagnosis don't have access to all the medical treatments that uh, won't cure, but will slow the course of the illness down. Uh, they're tending to struggle with day-to-day -day life, so they don't uh, have the knowledge of the uh, other interventions, psychological interventions, practical day-to-day -day interventions uh, that may help. They can't plan ahead for the future, uh, dealing with finances, uh, perhaps visiting relatives who are long distance away while they still can. Uh, they perhaps become muddled with their finances and uh, whereas things like lasting powers of attorney would make that easier. Um, driving, there are the legal implications. I could go on, there's a very long list. 
One of the things that's kind of flavour of the moment is the issue of whether or not we should be screening the general population for dementia. What's your view on that? Uh, screening seems like a good idea, uh, but one, one steps back and looks at the evidence. There is no evidence that screening for dementia is particularly u useful for anybody other than particularly high-risk groups such as people with Down syndrome, people with Parkinson's disease, people who've had a stroke, where the likelihood that they may develop dementia is much higher. But in the general older population, uh, screening really is not shown to have been of benefit.